Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stravan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering by Stravan. In this video lecture, I will explain you complete details about the G plus 5 building structural model, typical floor plan which is of 3BHK house plan which is placed in south facing direction. This is one of my client plan. I will show you the complete details about that particular floor plan and what are the dimensions that I was considered for each and individual room plan for the particular structure. So I will explain the complete uh, inner dimensions of the particular room and uh, uh, ground floor section dimensions rooms and etc for the typical floor plan so if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering and this pdf will be available in civil engineering by stravan application free pdf section you can download my application the application link is available in the below description of this video you can download the application and you can get the pdf for the reference so firstly i will show you the ground floor typical floor plan so now we can see this is the ground floor typical floor plan it is consisting of the complete parking section in the front direction again it is consisting of 1bhk direction so the site for this particular typical floor plan i was considered as 40 into 60 so initially i will explain you how many yards that particular uh, floor plan is comes under uh, for the plot so 40 into 60 is the dimensions for the plot if i divide this value with 9 then it will be comes under 266.668 yards so the typical floor plan was located with 266.66 yards area for the uh, site so this is the area for the site now i will show you that uh, plan this is the plan so which is placed in a south facing direction this is the roadway which is placed in the south facing direction for this plan now we can see this is the roadway okay roadway this is the south direction this is south facing, this is north facing, this is east facing and this is west facing. Okay. So now we can see for this typical floor plan is it, it is consisting of approximately uh, 12 number of the columns. Okay. So which is comes under this first column, second column, third column, fourth column. In the same process it is consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the greenery area and garden area which is provided here for this plan. So this is the main entrance which is provided here, gate. Okay, so this is the parking area which is provided here, which is consisting of the space of approximately 9 number of the columns. So this is the ground floor section. It is consisting of single bedroom hall kitchen portion. So it is consisting of the 5 feet, uh, approximately 5 feet width for the walk. Okay, so this is the lift provision which I was provided with 4 feet cross 5 feet. This is the guest room which is consisting of approximately 10 feet in horizontal direction, 6 feet 6 inches in vertical direction, this distance. This is a kitchen which is placed here, which is consisting of the dimensions is approximately 6 feet cross 6 feet 6 inches. And this is the hall which is having uh, 10 feet 2 inches cross 11 feet 8 inches. And this is the bedroom one which is consisting of 10 feet 3 inches cross 11 feet 8 inches. This is the washroom which is attached to this bedroom section. Again, it is also consisting of one more washroom which is outside which is placed connection for this room. So, which is consisting of the washroom here like this. These are the staircases which is provided here for the typical floor plan. And this is the complete details about the bottom section floor plan which is consisting of parking area as well as the 1BHK portion here. Now, I will explain you the typical floor plan for the remaining floors which is consisting of 3BHK in each floor. Okay, the first floor section I will show you. The remaining floor plan section is also same for the rest of the things. So now we can see this is the remaining floor plan. It is consisting of the 3 BHK bedrooms. Okay, 3 bedrooms hall kitchen portion for this floor. Okay, the same typical floor plan we are using for the 5 stories. So now we can see this is the opening for the balcony which is consisting of approximately 25 feet 
uh, 5 inches in a uh, vertical distance and 6 feet 6 inches in horizontal direction. This is the staircases again this is the lift provision which is connected through the structure and this is the guest room this is the main door through the main door we are entering into the guest room these are the dimensions horizontal dimensions is 11 feet 5 inches and vertical dimensions is 16 feet 3 inches and through the main gate we are entering into the arch section so this is the hall which is consisting of approximately the dimensions is 17 feet 2 inches cross 12 feet uh, 3 inches dimensions this is the door one which is provided here for this hall and this is the arch which is provided here and this is puja room which is provided here again in the same process it is consisting of kitchen portion the puja was provided with this 4 feet is the width and 7 feet 6 inches is the height which is nothing but the length and dining area which is provided as 9 feet 3 inches and 13 feet 2 inches this is the kitchen portion and the next one is comes under the utility area which is comes under 6 feet 6 inches cross 7 feet 2 inches section and this is the set out which is placed here and this is the dining area for this dining area which is provided with a sliding door here like this this is a sliding door generally provided here okay this is the uh, specifications for the uh, sit out and next one is related to master bedroom which is placed here in this particular section which is consisting of 15 feet 7 inches in horizontal direction 16 feet 6 inches in vertical direction dimensions and this is the cupboard sections and this is the window which is provided at the south facing direction Again in the same process it is consisting of second bedroom which is consisting of entrance here and which is having the washroom here like this okay. So this is the second bedroom which is consisting of 7, 15 feet 7 inches cross 11 feet 6 inches dimensions. Again in the same process it is consisting of third bedroom which is, which is having attached washroom here like this which is consisting of approximately the dimensions is 15 feet 7 inches cross 11 feet 10 inches. So this is the complete specifications for this particular floor plan. So this width is approximately 3 feet I was taken. So this width is 6 feet 6 inches I was taken. This is 6 feet 6 inches I was taken. So this is the 40 feet cross 6 feet uh, typical floor plan which is consisting of 3BHK house plan for the east which is related to south facing direction. So here I was taken according to the requirement of the client I was taken staircases in north facing direction. If you want you can take the staircases in south facing direction also. Okay, no problem with the specifications of the staircases. So this is the complete details about the typical floor plan which is of 3BHK which is used for the G plus 5 project. So in the upcoming videos I will explain you how to design this particular G plus 5 building structural model which is of south facing direction uh, according to the structural design by using ETAP software. So how to take the dimensions and how to consider the specifications of the particular floor plan and how to take the center to center distance between the columns and what are the dimensions of the uh, column sections and beam sections and slab thickness etc for this typical floor plan and how to design the structure as per IS 456 2000 code provision standard system. Thank you for watching this video. Please download the PDF from the Civil Engineering Stravan application free PDF section. So if you have any queries about this typical floor plan, please once text me your question queries in the below comment box so that I will give you the replace for the comments. Thank you. See you in the next video.